Hi, welcome to my build of a 60 inch wingspan Das Ugly Stick. I'm now back onto the fuselage. Um, if you've seen the previous videos you'll see I got this to a sort of half built stage and then I wanted to prioritise the actual fitting of the wings um, and the alignment of the wings which I've now done and so I feel happy to, to complete the rest of the fuselage. Um, I've done a little bit of preparation um, prior to, to starting this video and um, I've made a, a, a servo tray um, which uh, my servos will fit into. We've got the throttle which is going to be at the front and then I've got the rudder and elevator. Uh, not sure which way around that will be just yet. Um, and, um, and that servo tray just fits centrally there. What I might do is just put a little piece of um, uh, spruce here just to give that maybe a T-piece just to give this 3mm a little bit of strength because it has got a little bit of bend to it. Um, I've done a hardwood support with some 3mm plywood um, uh, supports which will just slot into, uh, into the fuselage and the tray will just sit centrally on top of that. Um, and if it's positioned right, the, uh, the servo tray will just miss um, the, um, the hardwood supports. So I've got that done. Uh, I've got some triangular stock here, which I uh, made myself because I haven't got any. Um, but I just cut a piece of 10mm uh, um, balsa square, 10mm square balsa in half to, uh, to make that. And even though it's not on the plans, I'm going to just put it on some of these uh, cross formers um, in the fuselage, just at the back end here, and um, maybe on the, um, uh, the uh, fuel tank compartment at the front, just to give it a little bit more strength. Maybe a bit of overkill, but uh, anyway, going to do that. Um, take out the servo tray. The, um, uh, the landing gear I haven't got yet or made but I've got some um, quite tough aluminium um, I'm not sure what grade it is but essentially it is quite strong and it's all I could get and that's 3mm um, there's um, on the plans it shows the uh, the shape and size so this will be easy enough to make and um, I'm going to bolt this onto the bottom of the fuselage, uh, the original plans showed a couple of dowels and it was held on with elastic bands as we've discussed before, um, but I'm going to bolt it through some captive nuts um, so I can bolt it in, screw it in and then if I want to remove it I can do that. I probably won't but the option's there. Um, I've made this um, uh, piece of uh, plywood here as a brace. Um, that's uh, six mil plywood, and that is just going to slot into the uh, the base of the fuselage, um, just to uh, strengthen the floor there and to join the sides together. If I bolt it just to the, the three mil balsa, which forms the base, I think it will rip out if I have a, a dodgy landing, uh, which I occasionally do. Um, so that will give it a little bit more support and I will probably, or a little bit more strength, and I'll probably just put a little bit of um, this triangular stock in as well, just to, uh, just to make the bushel. So that will go in there. Um, right, now, with the uh, fuel tank bay compartment, um, the plans just show um, the firewall um, fixing straight onto the front, bit of epoxy, and then um, a piece of hardwood uh, put down the side at the front just as um, a, uh, a, a bit of strengthening holding that. This is 6mm balsa or quarter inch balsa, 6.3mm balsa and I'm really concerned that if I just put that on there and I've got a, a, a 61 Thunder Tiger um, as well as the landing gear um, which is going to couple into that and stick out the bottom that's quite a lot of strength, uh, pressure uh, um, uh, and weight on that front end and I'm just concerned this 6mm balsa isn't going to be strong enough. So what I've done is I've cut a couple of 
um, doublers, strengtheners, um, which are going to go on this front. This is 3mm ply. Um, as with the, the landing gear uh, strengthener there, um, I, I've cut this out. It, it'll, it'll reduce the weight by maybe a quarter um, if I'm lucky. Um, but it all adds up. So um, I'm going to glue these two onto the side here. And then I've done um, a little bit of um, tooth and peg here to, to lock that in. I've had to cut a, a little bit out just to avoid the, um, uh, the captive nut there. So that should give it a little bit more strength. Um, in fact, that should be a hell of a lot stronger. Um, that needs to be uh, pulled in because uh, just to give it a little bit of taper on the front. Um, as I say, these aren't to plan, this is just something that I feel I ought to do to give it some more strength. I'm also going to put in these, um, uh, this, this plywood at the front, uh, sorry not this plywood, this hardwood at the front, um, just on the front here to hold the firewood as well, just to make sure. And I've put in um, a hole there already now. Uh, which goes through the front because that is going to take my throttle cable and I don't want to be messing around trying to drill that through here um, once, uh, once all this is glued. So that's already in place and I've also put the hole in this former as well so that, uh, that feeds, feeds through there and it'll go, we have the uh, strengthener, which will fit in. Let's just move this around a little bit. So I have the strengthener that will fit in the side here. Um, we've got the hole there, which will take the, land, the, um, sorry, the, thrust, the, the uh, throttle linkage through. And then we've got the strengthener that will fit on there. And that will all be, um, oops, that will all be epoxied together. So those are the tasks that I'm going to be doing now. Um, the strengthener on this side, the, tri the um, kind of tapered hardwood, I've had to cut that in two because I need to create uh, a gap halfway up to allow the throttle linkage to work. So it's going to not going to be quite as strong on that side. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is get on and do this. And once I've got all those inner pieces done, I can fit the wings and start to think about um, how I'm going to um, do the front up to the wings and the back and shoot this. Um, I'm probably going to have um, a balsa wood um, cover on the front of the nose that just hooks under at the front with a locking tab at the back. But we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll come back once I've got this uh, a lot more together. Well I've done quite a bit of extra work now to the fuselage and uh, it's really coming along nicely. Um, I've got the, uh, the mounting plate in here for the, um, for the landing gear and I've put in the triangular stock on three sides just to give that some strength. And I've also got the, uh, the mounting rail here put in for the servo tray. Um, the servo tray we had a look at previously, I've got it cut out, but since then I've put on some uh, three mil plywood on the top surface just here. Um, that will not only give something for the screws to get some purchase on, um, but it will also um, just lift that servo up slightly higher, which will be a better alignment for the, uh, for the throttle cable. Uh, we've got the rudder and um, uh, elevator servos here. Um, I put a piece of 3mm ply here, which will give them uh, the, the screws for them uh, something to screw into, a little bit more strength. And I put some 5mm uh, spruce down either side, and that's rock solid now, that, that won't bend at all. Um, as far as the screws on this back edge, um, they will screw into this, uh, this cross member here, this hardwood cross member. Um, so not only holding the servo in place, 
um, but also um, holding the tray. Uh, I may need to put some additional screws. I'll see how, how much grip I get, how, how solid that feels. Um, and the tray will have a couple of screws at the front just to hold it in place. Um, at the back end or the rear end of the, uh, the fuselage, um, I'm not sure whether I put this uh, triangular stock in previously or whether I've just done that. Um, but anyway, that's in there. Um, now the, the uh, trailing edge of the wings comes to about here and so there wasn't anything for this sheeting to, to grip onto uh, or to, to be supported by should I say. So I've put a, a cross member in there which just takes that. Um, at this rear end there's a, um, uh, a six or oh, quarter inch uh, slot here which takes the fin. Um, I need to get the uh, the tailplane and the rudder, uh, or sorry, not the rudder, the fin completed now before I can I can put this on. So this is going to have to wait this 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 sheeting on the top of the the fuselage um, because obviously uh, how I put this on is going to affect whether the the fin is is vertical or not. So that needs to go on um, either after or at the same time that I do the tailplane and the fin. Um, so I will come to that once I've done the fin, and that will be uh, that will be another uh, another video after this. Um, looking at the uh, the front end now, um, I've got in the um, the, the, the three mil plywood um, doublers bracing on either side uh, of the fuselage. Um, at the front just to give that extra strength. I've also put in the um, let's just take this out. I've also put in the um, the hardwood um, section here just to uh, to tie that in, um, give that more uh, more strength. And the hole is nice and clear of glue. Um, I did run a drill through it just to clear that. And I've got my throttle linkage cable here, which will need to be set up when I put all the electronics in. Um, on this side. I've put in some um, uh, another piece of hardwood down here uh, to give a little bit of um, strength at the front. And as I explained previously, I, I've had to cut that to allow the um, the front wheel linkage to um, uh, to have enough room to to work. And I've got another piece here uh, which I will eventually glue on this. Um, but I will probably do that quite late because um, I'll, I'll wait to get all the fuel tanks set up first. The reason I've got this um, long linkage here, I think I'm going to have to change this and, uh, and make a new one because I think I'm going to hook a piece of wiring rather than having this, uh, this connector. But the reason I've got this long linkage is to give enough uh, clearance for the fuel tank. Um, the fuel tank will drop in there. It's going to be um, slightly higher up. It will be just sat on a piece of... Uh, um, foam or balsa and I will actually surround it by foam just to give a little bit of insulation from vibration um, but that just gives enough room for the linkage to go down the side of the fuel tank I put in a, a hole here in this former so that's all ready to go now um, but again I need to set that up at a uh, at the, probably the, the next video will deal or, or, or one of the subsequent videos will deal with the electronics and, and fitting up the fuel tank uh, and that. So let's just take this out. Um, on the, um, I've got the um, uh, engine mount uh, fitted there now, um, but I haven't um, fitted the engine yet. Um, this is still sort of loose. Um, I haven't fitted the engine yet because I, there's quite a lot of um, movement here. I could have it right back or I could have it way forward. So this will be something I do when I know the balance of the aeroplane. Um, because the last thing I want to do is get it out here and then realise I need to add more weight. It's much easier just to move the engine. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and the, um, uh, the steering gear now. Is, is there and uh, that's working okay so again need to set that up um, in the next, next video with the, uh, the cabling and that. Um, 
Right, what this, what else? Uh, I've done a, a cover um, for the um, uh, fuel tank compartment and I've done a sliding switch. This is just epoxied on, uh, sorry, um, super glued on at the moment, but I'm going to epoxy this on just to make sure it's, it's good and solid. And I may need to sand this a little bit um, to get it to fit properly. Um, it's quite snug at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece on the front there and this will have a, some tabs here that will lock under there and then just pull this back and that just uh, yeah, slots down like that. Um, yeah, it's quite a tight fit. I, I, what I need to do, I haven't really tried to, to get this to be a, a precise fit at the moment um, because I, what I want to do is before I secure this on there and start working on this, I want to have as much access here as I can. So again, this will get done, uh, completed once I've done all the electronics and the linkages and got the fuel tank in and everything, which um, as I said will be part of a, another video. And I think finally for just now, for this, this little bit of video, is I've cut out the, um, the rough shape in 3mm alloy of um, the landing gear. So the fuselage will go here, uh, this is the front edge, this is the rear edge, and I've just got to sand that up, clean it up, bend it, and I've got these Dubro uh, three and a half inch wheels uh, which actually seem quite a lot of wheel for a plane like this um, but that's what it says on the plans they're quite heavy um, so but they're really good quality wheels they, they feel lovely so those will go on anyway and uh, I think that's about it for the moment um, what I'm going to do is wrap this video up now as lo uh, like I've just said uh, there's very little I can do now with this until I've got the fuel tank set up and the electronics, um, which is going to be part of a, a subsequent uh, a video. So I hope you'll tune in and, and watch that and, uh, and see how it goes.